Well, Arnie, uh, a spiteful night, wasn't it? Uh, you must be pretty proud, though, with the way your boys fought back. Yeah, look, uh, when you play Melbourne Victory, first thing you have to do is match a fight. Um, and I thought we did exceptionally well with that tonight. And uh, at times we can do better. But uh, look, after the trip away to Tokyo and we travelled for 20, 22 hours to get back and to back up the way we did was, was very good. We know that both you and Kevin are pretty passionate, but uh, you, you're both trying to get a word into Chris Griffiths-Jones at half-time. What, what did you have to say to him? Oh, look, I thought Barbarossa should have been a red card. It's, uh, for me, that's clear and clean and simple. And then Sebra makes one half challenge, yellow card, and, and Ryan Grant. So, like, you just want consistency. And uh, Jacques Fati uh, just, just miscontrolled the ball there. What did, you, what did you make of that decision? He should have headed it back. Young Brandon O'Neill did it five minutes after him. And it's, yeah, it's, it's not good enough. You got uh, three of your defenders, Grant, Fati, and Ryle, missing next week. Uh, some of those yellow cards, but do you think at times perhaps needless? Uh, uh, maybe the, the Fox Sports panel will be happy now. We haven't got any defenders. <laughs> what about um, next week? You've got uh, another big week ahead of you. Uh, are you happy with the, the fact that you rested not what? rotated eight players tonight. that help you in the end this evening? Yeah, look, I think if we went down to ten men and uh, had players on the field that were fatigued, we would you know, would have struggled to come back. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a great thing about David Carney with what he can do. Um, he's, he's excellent at 1v1 situations where, you know, we try to put him in that situation as much as we can and you know, thankfully he came through tonight. Well done. Thank you.